August 7th, 1944. The opening of the computer age. New components. New computers. New systems. Progress. Hey guys, Doug B here, your average axe wielding hack. This one is going to be short and sweet, so let's get going on it. There have been some recent changes in the Axe FX3 firmware that might make you want to update all of your presets. I'm talking parameters like speaker thump and speaker drive in the amp block and high mid in the drive block. You might want to make changes to those parameters for all of your presets, but we're talking almost 400 factory presets plus any presets you made, downloaded, or purchased. How do you handle this besides updating each preset individually? Well, the long and short of it is that the Fractal modelers have something called batch processing available in their software. Now, all you computer guys are already probably very familiar with that term, especially if you were programmers. Computerized batch processing is a method of running software programs called jobs and batches automatically. Okay, so how and why would we use this with our Fractal modelers? Well, going back to my earlier example, let's just say that you have those three parameters that need updating in all of your presets. Now, you could do that process preset by preset if you want to, but that will take you hours to do. I mean, just say that you could update two presets every minute. 120 presets per hour, that would take over three hours of non-stop work to update the factory presets. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. There are two methods available to use to change parameters in a group of presets. The first is the batch setter option in Fract Tool. It allows you to change the value of parameters in the blocks for a group of presets. Fract Tool was created by Al Grenadine, who recently posted that he's thinking about retiring Fract Tool because he can't keep up with all the firmware changes. I'll post a link to Fract Tool in the description. So you would open Fract Tool, click on the right arrow button to tab over to batch setter. You can choose function, block, parameter, value, apply to presets, and you, know, you can set a range, and apply to all channels or to individual channels. For example, if you want to set speaker drive to a value of two for all of your presets, the function would be set, the block would be set to amp one, parameter would be set to speaker drive, and value to set would be two. Then apply to presets zero through 511 which is, you know, all of the presets on a standard Axe FX3, and apply to all channels. Click Apply, and it will perform that function. The second method is from within Axe Edit. Again, if you want to set speaker drive to a value of 2, you'd open Axe Edit, go to any preset, and click on the AMP1 block. Next, you'd click on the Speaker tab and change the speaker drive value to 2. Now hold down the Shift key and right-click on the speaker drive parameter. A box labeled Set in Multiple Presets pops up. Hover your mouse over this label and a box pops up with choices for channels A, B, C, D, or all channels. Choose your option and then the list of presets pops up. Choose which presets you want the change applied to and hit save. That's it. And that is a lot faster than doing it preset by preset. Batch processing is just another great tool that we have to use with our fractal modelers. Give it a try, then drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on it. All right, now this Monday is going to be part five of my interview with Austin Buddy. You do not want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.